calculate power of a number using recursion so in this tutorial we are going to discuss how we can calculate power of any number using recursion so uh, before solving this problem using recursion we will first see how we can solve this problem using iterative approach and then I'll explain how we can solve this problem using recursion so uh, suppose if I'm saying 2 to the power 3 then my result is 8 so 2 is base here 3 is our exponent so our base here is 2 and exponent is 3 so we are multiplying 2 to the 3 times and we get result 8 so we if we have to do uh, if we have to solve this problem using iterative approach then what we do we declare a variable result and initialize with uh, value 1 then run a loop from 1 till uh, the exponent so exponent here is 3 so I have hard coded here but here you put exponent and then after each iteration we increment the value of i so this is how it looks the result will look uh, 2 into 2 into 2 so we get the desired result after this iteration so uh, this is the iterative approach now let's think uh, how we can solve this problem using regression so in regression a function call itself until the base or terminating condition is not reached so let's see uh, its solution using recursive approach so uh, here is my method in which uh, I have passed two argument base and exponent and here are uh, three condition if exponent is 0 so if 2 to the power suppose it's 0 then the result is 1 so I have simply returned 1 if exponent is greater than 0 so suppose 2 to the power 3 then I am doing this and the result is 8 so let I am also I'll explain all these approaches using visualization don't worry about and if 2 to the power minus 3 I mean for negative cases then our result will be 1 by 8 and the answer is 0.125 so let's see uh, how this uh, recursion technique works so now uh, suppose we have to calculate the power of 5 to the power 3 and we know the answer it is 125 now let's see how uh, this method calculate power of this number so now uh, here my base is 5 and the exponent is 3 so in uh, what I'm checking here is if exponent equal to equal to 0 then return 1 so it's not true exponent is greater than 0 yes so what I'm doing here is base into calculate power of number so here I am doing the recursive call and how it will be visualized so let's say in my first call 5 into and I'm calling calculate power so let's write in short form I am writing power so this is assume it's calculate power and now passing base 5 and exponent is 3 and 3 minus 1 which is 2 in next iteration so again I have called this method calculate power and I have passed 5 and 2 so it's again put in a call stack and it's power 5 to the 1 and after that it's still 5 into power and it's 5 and 0 so in recursion when we uh, call a method again and again it's put in a call stack and now 
if you see if exponent is zero then it return one so in a so all these call are put in a stack data structure and in a stack the element which pushed at last in a stack is the first to be popped out so uh, this method call is in pause state it's waiting to get the result from this call this is in wait state it's uh, waiting to get the result from this call now when we have exponent 0 then it return 1 so it return 5 into 1 it return the value 5 into 1 so here this call get the value 5 now it return 5 into 5 so it return 25 and it's waiting to get the result from this method call so it will get uh, the result 25 now 25 multiplied by 5 so we have return a result 125 so 125 is return so this is uh, the positive case now let's take one negative case in which we have to calculate the power of 2 to the power minus 3 so base here is 2 and exponent here is minus 3 so let's see what happens <clears throat> now if you see exponent is equal to 0 no exponent is greater than 0 no so it will goes in this condition and here what we do is we are saying 1 calculate power so let's write in short form power and I am passing 2 to the power now I am saying minus so already it is minus 3 now again I, I do uh, minus so it's 3 and this time when it calls power 2 3 it goes in this condition so it will be 2 to the power uh, so uh, base is 2 then 2 then 2 to the power 2 1 and 2 to the power 2 0 now our program will terminate as it reach the terminating condition so it returns 2 here and it will return 2 multiplied by 2 which is 4 here and it will return 4 multiplied by 2 8 so it will return the result 1 divided by 8 so which is 0.125 so we get the result 1 to 5 so this is how this method works and how it calculate power of power of a number using a recursion so we are calling the method again and again until this terminating condition is met so uh, let's uh, see our main method so in main method I have uh, calling this calculate power method and I have passed base and exponent and I am printing the results let's uh, run this code so if I run this code see the output is 0.125 let's take one positive case and let's take 5 and 3 see the output is 125 so this is how we can solve uh, this problem uh, using recursion and that's it for uh, this video for more such programming video you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video